Hi everyone and welcome back to Catherine's Plates. I'm Catherine. Today I am using my Instant Pot and I'm going to make sweet and sour chicken. Now what I love in my sweet and sour chicken is peppers. So I'm cutting those up right now for you guys. Now you can use any color that you want. Now I'm just pulling out what I had in my refrigerator which is a green pepper, just a bell pepper. And then I have this orange one right here also that I'm going to cut up. Now, I'm just cutting these into big strips and then cutting those just into nice chopped pieces like that there. Because that'll add some color to our dish for sure. Okay, like I have not used my Instant Pot in quite a while and I don't know what's the hold up on it. <laughs> because I love using the Instant Pot. It's one of my favorite tools in the kitchen. So I thought I would bring it out and show you my version of sweet and sour chicken. Now I have lots of Instant Pot recipes out there that are in video form on, you know, in my channel. So I will link the playlist down below if you want to check those out also. All right, I got my peppers done here. This is about what I'm gonna do right here. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, we're gonna start off by showing you all the ingredients we're gonna need to dump into our Instant Pot here. That's right, we're gonna call it the dump and go sweet and sour chicken. So I've got one and a half pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast that I just chopped up into bite-sized pieces. I've got some ketchup, brown sugar, minced garlic, some soy sauce, apple cider vinegar, got our crushed pineapple, got the peppers that you saw me cut up, and then we've got some oil. Okay guys, the first thing we're gonna do is turn our Instant Pot on and use the function saute. Now it should come up 30 minutes and that will give us time to brown up our chicken and do anything else that we need to do in there. Okay, so the saute function is now on and it's gonna start heating up. Once it gets nice and hot, we're gonna add the oil, our chicken and garlic and get that going. All right, let's go ahead now and add about one tablespoon of oil. Okay, I'm gonna add my one and a half pounds of chicken that I had diced up into bite-sized pieces. Now the best way to do this is when you put your chicken in and you're gonna brown it on both sides, it's just to kind of let it simmer for just a minute on one side and that way it's easy to flip over. If you start moving it around now, it sticks to the bottom of the pan and it's, then it's hard to move. So we're gonna let it sit there for just a minute. Now while that's happening, I'm gonna season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Just a sprinkle. We've always gotta season our protein. All right, a little bit of pepper. We are going to give this some flavor. So in goes about half a tablespoon of garlic. We're just going to let that sit on top of the chicken right now. Now all we are looking to do is make sure the chicken is no longer pink on the outside. We're not cooking it all the way through. Go ahead now and just start moving your chicken around. Now it's almost completely white on the outside of the chicken. I'm going to go in now make sure that you have a flat edge or a wooden spoon and scrape the bottom of your pot here of any bits that are down there. This helps not get a burn notice when you are pressurizing. All right, as you can see, the chicken is nice and white on the outside, no longer pink. So what we're gonna do now is add our flavorings. First thing we're gonna do is, I've got apple cider vinegar and we're gonna put half a cup in. We're gonna put in a third cup of brown sugar. 
Okay, a quarter cup of ketchup. Okay, two tablespoons of soy sauce. Okay, then I've got a 20 ounce can of pineapple. Now this is crushed pineapple. You can also do tidbits or you can do uh, pieces, whatever you wanna do. Chunks. I'm gonna put it in there, juice and all. All right, we're gonna place our peppers in now. This is the equivalent of one big pepper. Bell pepper, y'all, okay? So any color you can chop up in there. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of red pepper flake. Now, you do not have to do this if you don't want to, but, you know, I'm gonna add a little bit of heat to it. That's it. Just, just a few pieces. <laughs> Let's go ahead and mix this all together. Oh my gosh, y'all, it smells so delicious. Put the lid on. Okay, on the back of the unit, you have a knob. Now you wanna make sure this knob is on sealing. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we are going to cancel the saute function. Hit the pressure cooker button and the timer for 10 minutes. So it's at five right now. We're gonna go ahead and put it at 10 minutes. Okay, so once the 10 minutes is complete, we are going to do a quick release. All right, so the time is done. We're gonna go ahead now and release the steam from the back of the unit. Okay guys, once the steam is released and the pin on the back of the unit right here dropped, which it did, we're gonna go ahead and release the lid away from ourselves. Okay, it smells amazing in there. You know, while I was cooking this, I went ahead and started my rice. That way it would all come together all at once. So what I wanna do now is thicken this up because the gravy in here is kind of loose. So what we wanna do is take a quarter cup of water and add two tablespoons of cornstarch. Now while I'm doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my unit onto saute. So I'm gonna hit the cancel button, and then I'm gonna put it on saute. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just whisk up the cornstarch in the water, and then I'm gonna add this to my sweet and sour chicken and thicken it up. Okay, as you can see, when I put it on the saute mode, it heated up and now it's boiling, which is what we want. So we're gonna add our cornstarch slurry. Okay, we're just going to mix this together and stir it until it's nice and thick. And then we're gonna spoon this over our cooked rice. Now, when I made my rice, I like to cook it with chicken broth. So I use half water, half chicken broth, and then I add some butter to it. And I used, I used some Mahatma long grain white rice because that's what I had. And it generally takes about 20 minutes to cook after it comes to a boil. And then you've got a fast meal sitting here. This will bring everybody out of their rooms. <laughs> I'm telling you what. Okay, that looks good right there. We're gonna turn our unit off and then I'm going to put this over some rice and I'm gonna try it for you. Guys, this smells amazing. Sweet and sour chicken. Let me go in for you guys. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That chicken is so tender and it absorbed all of those flavors that I put in there. This is definitely sweet and sour chicken. I love that pineapple in there. It is so delicious. Okay guys, are you gonna make this one in your Instant Pot? 
Be sure to check below in my description box down below. I have a whole playlist of Instant Pot recipes for you that are so simple to make. Go check them out and tell me what your favorite is. Okay, give me a thumbs up, a comment down below. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I will see you on my next episode.